Hi guys, welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna talk about six free online tools for your business. I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let us know your thoughts. Number one is Slack. This platform offers real-time messaging, private groups, and uh, persistent chat rooms. Everything, and I mean everything, is searchable through a single search box. And uh, what is really great about this tool is the enormous amount of integrations available. For example, you can integrate it with Dropbox, Asana, Google Docs, uh, Stripe, and much more. This tool is completely free, and if you want to look at the pricing to see what's included in the free version, because there is also a premium one, this is the one we like the most. We have 10,000 messages, so between we can search them. Uh, five integrations, so yeah, unfortunately the integration you'll be able to use are only up to five. Uh, free native apps for iOS, multi-team support, there is an unlimited number of users you can add, and then if you want you can look at the uh, premium plans if you need something more actually uh, complex like guest access, priority support, uh, or custom message retention policies and, and much more. To be honest, I'm feeling quite good with the free plan, but it really depends on what you really, what you want to do with this tool. Have a look at all the plans and let me know which one you think is the best. Let's go into the application. Uh, the registration process is quite easy and quick. You just have to define your own uh, domain. I already done that. Mine is webyourmind.slack.com. Continue. It will ask you for the login access details. So like so. So once we're in, you have this nice interface with a with the sidebar on your left where you can see all your channels. You can create a new one like uh, YouTube, Wim. You can define the purpose, whatever you need. So how does the channel work? Inside the channel, you can write hello, and everyone, uh, every member of your team will see the message. You can uh, chat with them, you can broadcast it, and also for each channel, you can define the integrations. So in here, I added uh, uh, appear.in. For example, you can start a video conference immediately inside uh, Slack, or you can you know, you create a Zana task. There are so many things you can do. That's a very great tool, uh, very well made. Uh, give it a shot and uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, before we move on to the second, uh, the second tool in our chart, I want to show you how to use the integrations. So launch. Let's go in here. Just very similar to IRC. You type a backslash and then you see uh, appear. And I define my room, which is where you're mine. Boom. And it starts a conference inside the room. Boom. Quite cool, huh? Let's move to number two. Number two, Asana. Teamwork without email is what I state, and uh, I heard of this software while I was attending the Web Summit in Ireland, and uh, Rosenfield, was actually, which is one of the founders of Asana, was giving a, a detailed description around uh, what this tool does. And he keeps saying that if you start using Asana, you will no longer need an email. Uh, what does this mean? Basically, Asana is a very good tool when it comes to project management, to project tracking, uh, team communication, uh, when you need to actually deal with teams all over the world, uh, so especially for collaboration. Uh, we'll look into the application in a minute and just want to show you what do you get with the, with the premium uh, version. You pretty much have loads of features in the free version, which is great. But with the premium version, you get private projects, uh, private teams, unlimited guests. So you can invite your customers, uh, contractors, and whatever you want. Uh, priority support and dashboards. As soon as you log in into the application, this is the actual screen that you will see. On the left side, you have a sidebar with a project panel. So let's see, uh, we can create a new project like my project. We can define if that's open or it's actually private. So only the project members will be able to see that. Let's put that as private project, yeah. 
So in here we have our task list because that's actually what the tool does. As I said, it's very good for project management, task list and uh, collaboration. So this is our force task, my task. As you can see, while I'm typing on the right side, you can see a real time update. So my task and on the right side, you can either assign that to someone. I can assign that to myself, put a due date, 11th. Uh, the label, my label, there are lots of features that are very nice. You can add comments so every member in your team can actually see what, what happens. Have an update on the project, you can flag it as completed, you can unflag it of course. Uh, you can define a series of ta subtasks, so with this button here, subtask 1, subtask 2, and then in each subtask, you can decide who is the assignee, you can have a due date, you can add other comments and other details. So that's actually great. Uh, inside the main project area, you can also define sections. So instead of typing my task, you can write my section and adding a column at the end that will actually define that as a section. So blah, 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 blah. That's fine. So another very good uh, feature is the send task via email. So basically every time you log into your account you have your own private email and as you can see if you send an email to this address with this, the subject will become the task name, the body will become the task description and the attachments will be attached of course. Uh, for each project you can define a due date. So let's put that to be today which is the 13th and you can also have the instruction so you can add a description of the project my project is cool the status i hope it's green we just started uh, so you see all the tasks completed the task remaining and such there are many more features in this tool and i can guarantee you guys that if you start using that you will never stop Number three in our list is appear.in. This tool is the perfect example of an application that does one thing and it does it pretty damn well. You can have up to eight people. It's an application for video conversations, so you can do video conferences, audio conferences in a second actually. You just have to create your own room, so win towards our channel. Click on start, it will connect you and boom, you'll be live streaming with whoever is joining the meeting. In order to join the meeting, they have, you just have to provide the URL to whoever you want to invite and when they join, they'll be able to actually chat with you. You can lock the room, you can claim the room. So if you click on claim, you see that as the owner, you can own the room name, keep the room locked even when empty, set a custom background image and such kick people out of room, you know, if they drive you insane, <laughs> you might want to kick them out and you can lock the room and make it private. So if somebody uh, tries to access the room, like here, they have to knock, as you can see. So basically, if they knock and the owner allows them to enter the room, they can start the chat. Otherwise, they will never see what's going on in there. Very great tool. Uh, you can use that as an alternative to Skype, especially when it comes to conferences where you need to invite more than two people because, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very interesting tool, especially if you need something fast or you are on a laptop that you don't own or you are in an internet spot. You can log into the website and in one second you start your conferences. Number four is Bitrix24. It will take a single video to talk about this amazing tool as it comes with 35 tools in one single place. The CRM, HR, project management, private social networks, course, meetings, conferences and much more. All of this stuff will be included in your free account for Bitrix24 if we want to look at the pricing. As you can see, there is a free plan that has no fees and you can have up to 12 employees, $25 per month for additional employees, non-external users, online storage, and yeah, pretty much all the options other than external users and work reports, time management and those stuff. But 
pretty much 85% of the functionalities are there. So I really suggest you guys give it a try. Uh, if you were looking for a tool that has everything in one place to manage your small online business, but even if you are a mid-sized company in Good Studio, I really suggest you look at this tool. Two more tools to go, and we'll talk about number five, which is Wave Apps. Wave Apps is a free application that helps you managing your business finances from anywhere. It has a wonderful receipt functionality that allows you to take a picture of the receipt from your phone and you can have those uploaded into your, the application. It's integrated with Stripe, uh, the payment system, and it allows you to send invoices to your customers and have them paid by credit card. This is a must have in my opinion, and since I have subscribed to that, I'm using this tool pretty much every time I need to issue an invoice to my customer and especially to keep my accounts in one place. So this is how the interface looks like. Again, we have a sidebar panel with all the menus. We can see our transactions. We can see our invoices, bills, receipts, and other stuff. Uh, there is a list of pro services that actually I never used, but I want to show you the list. So you can find an accountant and invite him to join you on Wave Apps, which might be, it, might be handy. In the dashboard, you have a, a very nice chart that repeats the income and expenses, the invoices that are due to be paid, the bills you owe, and the net income, and also your business expenses divided by category. You can add new categories actually using the menus. It's very nice. As you can see, there is also an option to add a bank account. If we, if we click on it, you can type the name of your bank, and if Wave Apps has an integration, there are over, over 10,000 banks you can choose from, uh, you'll be able to connect your, uh, your account to the Wave Apps one, which means that you'll be able to import all the transactions automatically. The last tool in our list is TweetDeck. When it comes to online business, social media are a must, as you might imagine. Uh, have you ever wondered if there was a way to manage multiple Twitter accounts in one place? Well, Twitter had the answer. They developed this nice tool that lets you control all your Twitter accounts in one single place. Uh, also, you have a good functionality which is scheduling the tweets, so you can simply define the date when the tweets should go live and you'll be able to schedule that. This is how the interface looks once you logged in. As you can see, there is a home panel where you see all the people you follow and the notifications panel. So basically all the information in regards of people starting following you or if they mention you and other stuff like that. Uh, messages, you can see the messages you received in your account, the activity, and basically that's what you have. If we click on the notification, it will highlight the panel. If we click on messages, it will highlight the third panel. So if we want to add a new account, we click on accounts, we can click on add another tweet account. There is a disclaimer around multi-account security. You, once you confirm, you can add the new account you want. So it's very good. Uh, you can, again, uh, manage every single Twitter account you have from this tweet deck. Thank you for watching the video guys, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and add us on your Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus as well. Let us know your thoughts about this video and let us know if you would like to see something similar like another top 6 or uh, any topic you would like to see on the channel. If you click on the two video links you will be able to see the Laravel course and the uh, After Effects video. See you next time.